my lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to Telltale The Walking Dead. Right, it's been a while since I've played this, so I'm not sure where the hell I am. Well, I'm obviously on episode 2, but plot-wise, no clue. This game being The Walking Dead, I'm sure we're warring with somebody. Or people. If I really think about it, I think we're back at the hotel still. Or are we on the ranch? I don't know, but I'm happy to wait and find out. Wait, hold on. Am I finished episode two? Yeah, I'm fin yeah, I am finished episode two. So episode three, the long road ahead. I think. I think I finished episode two. Did I? At this stage, I'm not so sure. <laughs> but you know what? I'll just go ahead and load episode three anyway. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to check my YouTube channel to see what the hell I've done with this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished the episode two ages ago. Okay, so moving on to episode three, the long road ahead. God, it's been a while. It's been Previously ages. On the Walking Dead. Okay, I'll shut up now. If the gate's open, we've got wounded. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Get him! What the fuck? Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Okay, back to decisions. This might yeah, go this smoothly. Might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. Yeah, I forget what happened last time. Probably all hell broke loose. Oh yeah, we're fighting against the cannibal family. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. And by the way, just in case anybody wants to know, I've been catching up with The Walking Dead, oh, the TV series. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Definitely, we should stay, you know, we strength in numbers. Stay, We've made an all right go of it so far. That fucking figures. It's only a matter of time till you and Lily put a white picket fence around that shithole. Wait, me and Lily? Who is Lily again? She's okay, a news reporter? Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting up there. I'm gonna have to find another way around. But yeah, like I was saying, I've been catching up with The Walking Dead. Uh, Fear The Walking Dead, I should say. I did finish off the series, start, start to finish, but 
then I started re-watching it again from season one up until when Morgan joins the group. Yeah, it got a bit Morgan eccentric, but it was great to see him again. Yeah, just going to see what we have here. Look, look at the helicopter, just to see if there's any interesting dialogue. Really? You have to walk all the way over just to give me a so bit of dialogue? Get a bit of a sad. Ooh, what do we have here? Barrel, of course. Huh. Really? That's all you have to say? Huh? They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I know, I know, I could push this, but there's a few more interesting points of interest. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. What do we have here? Debris? Huh. Always interesting. <laughs> and I think this is a bit of a gag, to be honest. You know, all, all these random points of interest. He's just going to say, hmm, to most of them. Hmm. Yep, knew it. There's no safe way through that mess. Car? Yeah, the car should work. Any day now, Lee. Kenny, come on. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. I'm not even trying. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. I can't reach. You didn't lie down to try and stretch out your arm. I think you're just trying to be a bit of a dick. Push it from behind? Oh no, I, I, I tried that already, didn't I? Huh. Mm. Yep, nah, it's gonna go anywhere. Unless it's obvious that I go, oh, a winch, yes. That could be useful. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. Oh shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Well, there's no good anchor point, but I'm sure we'll find Oh wait, the trailer axle. I suppose there's that's a good anchor point as any. And he was speaking of which, the only series of The Walking Dead I haven't really watched is Maggie and Negan and Daryl. It's actually great how The Walking Dead universe is actually, you know, spreading out, out a bit, going in different directions whilst keeping the same main characters that we know and love. And I hope to God at some point we get to see Morgan again. I have a sneaking suspicion that he might come back in uh, the new series with Rick and Michonne, whatever, whatever that's called, The Ones Who Live or, or something like that, or Those Who Live. I saw the trailer for that, it was quite good. Anywho, getting on with the gameplay here. Because I like to make as much progress as possible in each episode. I'm trying to keep them as uniform as possible. By uniform, I mean keeping them as three parts per episode. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? Oh God, I hope not. I hope not. Hope it ain't worth a damn.
But, you know, during the zombie apocalypse, it's, you know, finders, keepers, survival of the fittest and, wh and whatnot. Although, that being said, it was kind of a dick move to steal all those supplies. But, going back to point A and B, finders, keepers. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Uh, you money, I suppose it is a sc scary situation it was for him. A scary situation for her. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. It kind of was his fault. As far as I know, he was acting to Mickey. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, you idiot. Yeah. What ha what happened? Or will you say, are you okay? Jesus. You okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get ah! off here. Don't scream, do they? Jesus. Looks like a walker. I think so. Oh, okay, it's a girl. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Go on, take the shot. Oh, no, never mind. You got fish. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh, decision time again. Okay, that's one down. Fuck, man, you're not hitting anything. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go now. Didn't realize it was timed. Wait, how the hell did you get over Lee? Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. All right, you're the boss, Chief. Go grab all the things. Every one of them. Might get an achievement for it. She's gone. There's not much time now. Anything else? Pills, pills, and more pills. Uh huh. I don't even know what the hell I'm even collecting here, to be honest. Yeah, and uh, I'm about of, out of time. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just one more pill thing here. Whoa! Whoopsies. Goodness gracious, this is terrible, this is terrible, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Kenny, any time now? Oh, come on, Kenny, don't be a dick. Yeah, man, 
you're telling me. Come on, let's go. Go on, punch him. Jeez, you're quite sturdy, aren't you? Stayed put. Come on, Lee, let's hustle. What was that? You're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Yeah, but you were a complete dick. Christ, I swear he's trying to get me killed. So, are we going to talk about what happened back there or not? Damn, I'm not talking to strangers in that walkie. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea, that's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Oh, he's calling her sweet pea. That's nice. He's taking on a fordly role now. Hey, grumpy puss. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <laughs> okay, that that's terrible. I'm so, sorry. What did you get? A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We don't have walker problems. We have to go eventually, Lily. So you changed your mind. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. So, you two are, uh, having a disagreement? Cool it, Doug. Yeah, Don't Doug. People around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. And we're all okay, losing it stop, with stop, the stop. attacks and lack of food. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lemmy's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side, Kenny. This is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. Oh, thanks, Lee. I'm on your medicine? side now. What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? Oof. You weren't out there. There was no saving her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, 
stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Oh, Jesus. Kenny, you have your way around women, don't you? Or you know your way around women, I should say. But my apologies. Uh, she'll get over it, I she'll suppose. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! I mean, you kind of are. Like, I almost got eaten and you did jack shit. Uh, rough day, I guess. Yep, I've just been calling them days lately. I don't know what it is, but it's probably worth talking to Lily about things going missing. Ever since her dad died, she's been a live wire. And now, if she's paranoid, that's a bad mix. No, you could be onto something there, Doug. Phew, what a palaver. What a palaver. But, yeah, my thoughts on Kenny, I mean, he's a bit of a live wire himself, I mean. Funny enough, as I mentioned, I've been watching or re-watching Fear the Walking Dead, and there has been a similar situation. Uh, Chris in Fear the Walking Dead, if you know who he is, uh, he was watching over Madison as she got attacked by a walker and did absolutely nothing. That's because he had his own vendetta against her. And this scene, or that scene... I should say, because it was in the past. They, they both correlate with each other, is what I'm trying to say. So I think Kenny is kind of losing his mind. Well, maybe not losing his mind, but he is putting himself first and foremost. He's just looking after, you know, number one. Like, if, if I did die... He'd probably come back to the camp saying, oh, it's a terrible accident. Although that's not a possible scenario because it doesn't give that outcome. But, you know, if you're talking about uh, what would happen theoretically, that that's exactly what, what would happen. He'd play it off as an accident if I, if I got, you know, bitten and killed. Anywho, enough jibber-dabber. Let's see what we can do around here. Like, I think all of this is just optional dialogue here. But hey, I might as well go through it. Hiya. Let's see. Do you feel safe here? I mean, it looks safe, but no place stays safe forever. We've seen it time and time again. Do you feel safe here? Hmm. Safety has always been a bit of an elusive thing for me. I mean, at the motel, as opposed to finding somewhere new. I think if we can get whoever's out there to leave us alone, this is a good place to be. And you know, they sort of stopped attacking. Maybe they forgot about us. Yeah, no, that that doesn't happen. Again, another walking dead trope. It's every man for himself. So whenever you think it's safe, it's never going to be safe. Even if you leave even if you live sorry, if you live in a strong, well fortified place, somebody with a huge ass army with a huge ass tank I'm making reference to the colonel here in The Walking Dead. They will come along and take that place by storm, even if it means burning it to the ground. So yeah, no place is safe forever. Nothing's permanent. What do you think about Lily? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm sad. Nobody deserves to lose a parent like that. You don't think that would make her delusional, do you? I think it could make you anything. Nothing good. Okay, and let's just see what he's working on, what sort of gadget. What are you working on? I'm just trying to focus on the wall. Anything I'd like to contribute needs batteries or tools I just don't have. I'm tearing down this furniture to patch up the wall. If we go on like this, we'll have half the Travelier piled up out here before we know it. The wall's important. I guess. I feel worthless on watch because I'm not wild about guns, and I just wish I was more helpful. I'll catch you later, Doug. Huh. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before. I'm pretty sure I have. There seems to be a bit of glitching going on. Like the dialogue just suddenly cuts like that. It just seems to kind of, I won't say spasm, but 
just cuts out completely or just segues into the next sentence because I actually did try this out on Game Pass well the first episode and the performance is way way better you get 60 FPS and I think it's bug free so yeah I am kind of disappointed with this port I know it was a PS3 game then it was re-released or I should say continued for the PS4 well re-released and continued on, on the PS4 because I don't think the final season came out on PS3 or did it no I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on it but either way it performs better on Xbox not that I'm an Xbox fanboy I'll always be PlayStation first but you know I'm well able to to say what performs be better without being biased and clearly some games do perform better on Xbox or they're ported better, they're looked after better, they're more polished. Okay, just talk to Kenny. Hey you two, how are you doing? We're okay, just having a little spat. We all carry guns now and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry, how are you, Lee? Um... So many dialogue options. I'll just ask him to try try a bit harder with Lily. You know, try and make the try and keep the peace. Keep the peace is what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with me today? You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Oh, jeez. What? You're giving me a bit of a stink eye. Trouble in paradise. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Okay, and what about the trust situation? Okay, clearly... Lily and Kenny here will never see eye to eye given wh what Kenny did to her dad in the most gruesome way possible. But what does he think of the rest of our motley crew? You guys uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. See you, Katja. You got a good head on your shoulders. Now, I don't really see the point in talking to you because, you know, I've already talked to Kenny. Lily's store. Yeah, we'll go in and talk to Lily. It's Lily's room. Yeah, no shit. Honey, I'm home. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Yeah, let them call me A, let them call him B. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Okay, we'll go with for real. For Ooh. real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm, okay. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. I'd really appreciate it. 
Yikes. A mystery. For who? Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? No. What did weirdo. I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, fine. We'll let him help. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Yeah, I think the only weird one here is Ducky. Alright then, Duck will help and he'll probably screw us over as well. In some shape or form. And how long have I been recording now? Probably not that long. Mm, about half an hour, just a little over half an hour. Should I call it a video? Yeah, I think I should, but after I talk to Clementine here. It's been ages, Clem. How the hell are you? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Uh, we'll ask... Yeah, we'll ask her if she broke the flashlight, but I don't think she did. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did, uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, you little rascal, Clem. Gotta love you. What do you think about Doug? He's cool. Cool? He knows things. You don't think he seems down? Like sad? Yeah. Everyone is. You? I'm okay. And who do you see what she's up to? What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Oh, ain't you a sweet peach, Clementine? Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Okay, we've just about chitter chatter to everybody here except... Am I missing anyone? I've talked to Doug, I've talked to both Kenny and Katja. I'll talk to what's-his-face, Ben. Let's give him about the flashlight first. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Okay, then, he says with a suspicious face. Anywho, I think that's all about it. I can get covered for one video, because I have to try and edit this and render it within about an hour or so, because I've got work in the morning. Ah, oh, I love work. Wait, what the hell happened there? Game's freaking out. I'm so tempted to continue this on Game Pass, but uh, I'd have to replay through the first and second episodes. Would it be worth it? Nah, I, I don't. I don't think so. I, 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 I don't think so. No, I'll, I'll keep it on, on the PS4, PS5. Well, PS5 because my PS4 is kind of janked now. Disc tray is broken. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. So, guys, if you want to do, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, like always, I'll see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.